And you know, Katie, we've been talking about how viewers have mentioned, gosh, it's been so beautiful during the week. And then the weekend, we get rain again. And you said it is a pattern it here. Is. I mean, there's some science behind it. Every four to seven days, we see a cold front mm -hmm. this time of year. And that's exactly what we're up against as we head toward the weekend again. So a bit more action expected, especially on Sunday. Of course, we'll talk more about your hour by hour weekend weather. But first, I want to start with a live look at radar. Of course, radar right now, nice and quiet. And here we are looking live from the Bayfront in looking inland high pressure is in control and that means really nothing even in the way of cloud cover outside but one thing our radar is picking up interestingly enough look down here that is a fire over Big Cypress National Preserve. And as we zoom in, we can actually see where that surface smoke is headed. So if you are driving, say, along 41, maybe taking the scenic route through that beautiful area over to Miami-Dade or even off of I-75 crossing over Alligator Alley, you might see some smoke. That's from a 150-acre burn right now that we are monitoring closely here at Fox 4. But as of right now, it is in the preserve. So that's what you might be seeing if you are traveling that direction. As for our drought index, this was updated this morning by the USGS drought monitor. We have seen improvement. Good news. This time last week, we still had that red across all of southwest Florida. Well, now notice this simply abnormally dry for Clewiston and Moorhaven. We're seeing some big improvements here. This is the first time we've seen yellow in months. And we have the peach color right here from Marco Island to Naples, Fort Myers, stretching even up to Highlands, moderate drought instead of severe drought. Now we do still have some severe drought concerns through DeSoto, Northern Charlotte County into Sarasota counties. So those spots especially still need some rainfall. As for Punta Gorda, we are in deficit by around two and a quarter inches. Naples were down by nearly six inches in the rain gauge. And in Fort Myers, going back to January 1st, we still need about three and a half inches of rain to fully catch up. So when will we see our next chance for rain? Tomorrow, it's going to be hot and dry. Best chance for a few showers on Saturday will be inland, pretty isolated. Then starting Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, you want to make sure you have that rain gear handy each and every afternoon as those rain chances will be going up. We'll be kicking into more of an active weather pattern. But for those of you heading out this evening, looking quite nice indeed, just those high clouds out there. We're at 83 degrees. Dew point, still pretty comfy right now, sitting at 60. So on our muggy meter, as we look at that, not quite in the refreshing range where we were yesterday behind that cold front, but we are still relatively comfortable for those of you heading out. By tomorrow, we're going to head into the the tolerable range as that humidity starts to increase. So planning out your evening temperatures gradually dropping into the mid 70s. Mostly clear skies will prevail overnight tonight. Tomorrow, partly cloudy and again, it's going to be more humid. It's going to be hotter. The reason being winds will become southwesterly in the afternoon, pumping up that heat and humidity. So do keep that in mind for any outdoor plants you might have. That said, radar stays dry. So tonight, mostly clear will drop down into the low and mid 60s across southwest Florida. Afternoon highs tomorrow. Here we go. The heat is on. Low 90s are forecast with that wind becoming southwesterly. And then over the weekend, few inland afternoon storms expected Saturday with a better chance for afternoon scattered storms starting Sunday into really most of next week.